And this is maybe the first step or the second step before we get into the next topic of the beginning is how did everything begin here on earth as far as man and wife, woman, the whole thing of procreation, male, female, and sin and world, meaning sexual immorality that is now, like it's now made, maybe Brother Alex doesn't know this, or Brother Seven, I think, or Sister Elizabeth, they know this. Uh, they now, when I was in junior high, teaching junior high, uh, I came across the expression, learned about the expression about 10 years ago, friends, we're just friends. Mm -hmm. And then it became friends with benefits. Yes. And all of this is just adultery, but they, they don't call it adultery, perversion. They don't call it perversion, no, because we're more modern, we're very modern. But um, I hope the word of God goes and cuts and circumcises. Not me. You can put the, you even put the outside guy away, and all his foibles, yeah. all his problems, Amen. his ugliness, fatness, everything. Amen. And just listen to the word. Right. <clears throat> and all this. Holy Father, thank you for this word this morning. I believe you pray for it too, Lord. But God. Humble myself before you. And I know that it's your word that takes the preeminent preeminence, and we want to do that this morning. Help us with the reading. In the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. I can't, almost every time I read the scripture inside me, I can't help but go to John the Baptist. Amen. I can't help it. John the Baptist was formed. It was, he, was, he, was, he was formed in his mom's belly. Amen. There's no life there yet. Wow. He's just in the darkness. He was covered by water. Yes. Amen. He said, he's, he's coming Elijah. Wow. Amen. He said, he promised Elijah from that age. He's dead. Can't do nothing without Jesus. As soon as he heard his name, Jesus. Jesus, the word came to the prophet. Just the name itself. So I can't. I go to John the Baptist many, 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 many times. Almost every time I read this, I apologize for the commentary. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Amen. And God saw the light that, that it was good. And the and God divided the light from the darkness. You so start seeing that God's being a separator. There's light, darkness. Amen. Share of life, share of Knowledge of good and evil. Amen. He starts doing. Now we're not dualists. The dualists believe yeah. that there's a God and then an anti-God, mm -hmm. which is just equal to God, and they're just a battling all the time, and we don't know who's going to win. Well, one is God, and the other one is, was created to be equal with God, but without it, but being a creator, so God knows yeah. what to do there. So we're we're dualists in the sense that we have right, wrong, good, bad, stuff like that, and it's just commentary. We'll say it in a little bit. And God saw the light, that it was good, and he divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament, expands heaven, space, even separate, separate between one molecule and the other molecule. There's, you put space there. In the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters and God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which are above the firmament firmament and it was so Amen. and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning with us second day and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together to one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and God called the, the the dry land earth and the gathered together of the waters called he seas mm -hmm. and God saw that it was good and God said that the earth which we're going to be focusing to this morning on those two verses right here 11 and 12 and God said let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the tree and the fruit tree excuse me yielding fruit after its kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And the earth brought forth grass, 
an herb yielding seed after its kind. Notice that. Can you say after its kind? After, after its, its kind. kind. Not different. No. Mm -hmm. And a tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself again. After its, its kind. kind. And God saw that it was good. Okay. Yes, you may be seated. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <clears throat> we're going to talk about that this morning. The spoken word. I know Brother Matthew titled it Six Hour Message. I'm talking about long message, six hour message. Spoken word, the original seed. Amen. Now, for us to be able to understand each other, if you have time during the week, uh, listen to that message. It's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. And the other one, we're going to be, this is a small introduction. Maybe we'll need one more introduction to get into the serpent seed. But we want to take the serpent seed just through the Bible. No comments about that. Well, well, we're going to take this thoughts, of course, but we're going to see where they got them from. So it's all Bible. Yeah. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. Right. And we're going to see the fact that God, the, the, the concept Paradigm? Concept? The concept. I'll say the concept so you understand what I'm saying. I'm not going to understand paradigm. But the concept of sexuality is through the Bible from the beginning to the end. And you can see it perfectly because God calls uh, Israel, He says, I am married to you. But then He scolds her. He says, A prostitute, man, you're, you're bad. A prostitute will actually take money for what she does. Yeah. But you're worse than that. My. You pay the guys to come and My. do those things. Wow. You're filthy, vile, and... Uh, uh, I said, I don't know. Calm down. Calm down here. Mm -hmm. you're, that's how I feel. So if God places his church, his nation, right. on, on that uh, level, right. we see that, that it's important. But then... And then it, let's, let's just go to, to the end time. At the end time, what do you see? Ten virgins are called to me get married with Jesus Christ. Yes yeah. or no? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, not going to marry a whore. Yeah. Not going to marry uh, an illicit, illicit woman. The church. So what does he call her? Going to 2 Corinthians 11. Paul says, I have espoused you yes. to Jesus Christ as a chaste pure yes. virgin. My, my, my. But I fear lest as the devil, serpent, evil, the, the snake, beguiled my, or seduced. My. Yes, sir. You go to the way to the Greek, the Hebrew, the Greek, and the Hebrew, and everything, it's seduced. Everybody knew that in the Old Testament. And the New Testament. When Jesus said, you are your father, Amen. the devil. Yes, Amen. We're not born of fornication, Amen. adultery. Glory. You know what he's talking about. You're like just like your father, the murderer from the beginning. It's the way we we know. Cain was born from wrong. And then you can see it. I don't know if I'll find it, but we can, you, can, you can see in some of the old cultures, India, they had that concept already that, yeah, we got here the wrong way. But they decided to worship that because... We're going to see that. We're going to see that in the Asheroth and uh, Asera, the image. And what the Bible in English says, groves. In Spanish yeah. it says, images to Asheroth. We're going to find that, that everything wrapped around sexuality. Yes. Okay, let me go back to over here in this side right here. What, if, what, is, what is God doing now? In the end time, it's a battle. God versus Satan. Or Satan versus God, actually, because God's there and the Satan comes against him. So let's say Satan against God. He comes against God. Big surprise, right? God got caught by surprise. No, he, he knew from the very beginning. He's not going to make you just like me. And so you don't say that I'm bad. I'm going to give you free moral agency. You can go millennia. You can go eternities. And do just obey me and everything's okay. But I know you're not going to because you're going to decide. You're going to decide on your own. That's where he's a, not creator, but he's a perverter. You're going to create, you're going to create, pervert in your own self something I've given you. And that's free moral agency. You're going to say, I'm not going to worship you no more. Right here. I, that's as far as I go. I'm 18. My. I'm out of here. My. I'm 21. I'm out of here. Okay. Well, they were out of here. They were out of there when they were 5, 6, 10 years old. They decided, I don't want to live here. 
Other ones, the other side, flip, flip, the, uh, flip the script like the kids say. Man, when, you, when you're 18, I'm going to kick you out of the house. Or when you're 21, I'm going to kick you out of the house. And the kids are going to be, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then they go up and they get into gangs and everything. Uh -huh. Or they go, okay, you're, I'm on my own. I'm going to make my own way. I'm going to go to, I'm going to move away, go to college somewhere else. I'm going to go in the military, whatever, not because of the media, but I'm going to do something. Right. And she, she, she don't want me anymore, I'm out of here. Or like our daughter, Ruth. She was at home until she was 40. She, she wanted to be under a head. She wanted to be, a, she, wanted, she needed a head. She needed somebody to think for her, help her out. Anyway, let's go back to, let's go back to concepts, principles. At the end time, you have God versus Satan, wisdom versus faith, Christianity versus idolatry, but then this this is pretty much the the masculine side. What about the feminine side? Okay, you have a church versus a church. Mm. And what does God call the, the good church? Right? Virgin. She's a virgin. She's a Revelation chapter twelve. You know, she's got this as a crown and Amen. moon at her feet and sun Amen. and everything. She's beautiful. That's his wife. That's his bride. That's us if we ever get there. And we will. Those of us that are, I'm speaking by faith, we'll get there. Those of us that are not, ain't gonna do it, ain't gonna be there. Because remember, the remnant, she's just the same as the bride is. Yeah. Yeah. I found the quote yet, Brother Johnny used to say that all the time that God loves the bride. Again, that God loves the foolish version. But he greatly loves the bride. Mm. Because he chooses them? No. Because he knows by her own choosing. <clears throat> wow. By your own choosing. I'm going to be there yeah. when I'm supposed to be there. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do by their own choosing. <clears throat> they decide to obey God. Yeah. By their own choosing. I got my rights. But I'll, I'll get my rights. Flush them on the plane. Because wow. I'm a sheep and I ain't got my rights. I'm going to forfeit my rights. I don't know how to claim to them. Okay. Um, anyway, so on one side you have the bride, virtuous, beautiful. She's who can find the virtuous bride, virtuous woman, uh, church. Who can find the virtuous bride? Um, Sal Solomon, the wisest man in the world, said, I, "I looked around. I could find one one good man out of a thousand. One good man out of a thousand, but a one good woman out of a it's harder to find." And he had seven hundred wives and three hundred girlfriends. That were allowed to. He had a thousand women that could say, Come here, okay. Wow. Couldn't find one good amongst them. Wow. So in his love poem, Song of Salt, right. she's there. Oh, you're beautiful. You're like this, you're like that. Calls her sister, friend, wife. Stages. So on one side, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. On one side, you have a virtuous, beautiful, virgin, pristine, untouched, clean bride. And on the other side, you have Satan's bride, who she says, I'm rich. Increase the goods. I have need of nothing. I said as a queen. John saw her and was like, yep, yep, that's right. Amazed. Right. Wow. Not only, not only was he amazed because she was her beauty, she was amazed at her blasphemy. You see the names of blasphemy. How can she call herself the church of Jesus Christ and she's responsible for all the murders, My all the assassination man. of all the Christians? How, could, how did this happen? And I looked at her with great amazement. Wow. But then what did he call her? A whore. Wow. Prostitute. The mother of the abominations of the earth. Yeah. Oh, that's an abomination. Go look to mama. Oh, this thing's not right. Who started it? Man. She did. Who's behind this and this and this yes. and this and this and this? Who's against, who's behind wanting to destroy the Constitution of the United States? She is. Yeah. Who wants to kill capitalism? Wow. She does. She favors communism. Who wants to kill Protestantism or Christianity? 
Who wants to kill all that? She does. Who wants to kill the politics? Calvinism. Wow. Our, our country is built on Calvinism. Wow. Tell me if this is sounds familiar to you. Every church elects its pastor. Man. Every church elects its deacons. Man. That's not William Branham saying that. Wow. William Branham said that, but that's not William Branham's. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't come up with that. Man. He was just teaching Calvinism. Calvin Man. said, this is the way it should be. Wow. Okay. So the United States starts off in the Sardis church age. And as soon as the Philadelphia church age starts, that's 1750, ah. 26 years later, there's the United States. Ford. Right. In the new world. Sir. Where justification took place in Germany. Sanctification in England. Mm -hmm. Then you got to cross a big water. Amen. Amen. The pond they call it, but it's a big water. They got to cross that water, the, like Jordan, to get into the new world, Amen. to get into the new birth, wow. to get into the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. What happened to some of these English Amen. or Canadian uh, uh, geese? Wow. If they follow one clown, <laughs> didn't know what he was doing, a goose, uh -huh. and he takes them to England. And they get stuck there in England in sanctification. And they can't get out of there. They don't know how to find their way back because wow. they picked the wrong leader. <laughs> they didn't pick the Holy Ghost Man. to lead them. Picked the wrong guy. Yeah. Some guy says, look, it's pretty good. Look at that chest. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Doc, the quack. Doc, just, just right. <laughs> you know? Look at the quack. He, they got your quack. Looks like a goose, but he's actually a quack. He's yes. a duck. Duck! You know? He's a, he's, he's, he, he, wasn't a, he wasn't the leader. Inside the, the, the leader is the nature of God's calling in him yes. to lead them. Yes. Okay? So Luther had the right. He was, when they saw Luther, he goes, that's the guy. <laughs> when they saw Wesley, that's the guy. Amen. When they saw the Holy Spirit with the, the Seymour, he didn't even preach. He, always, he, knows that. he would just get over here in the corner. He'd have the service. He'd start singing. And he'd just sit over there, maybe over there in the corner or down here by the pulpit. He'd just kneel down and start praying. Holy Ghost would come down, bam! Wow. Little kid, little kid, ten years old, ten years old. A man walks in. He's looking for the guy, the healer man, the healing guy. And he says, "Can I help you, sir?" He says, uh, "I'm looking. I'm blind. I need a guy to pray for me. If I can see, I can see." And the kid says, "Would you let me pray for you?" <laughs> that little obnoxious little. Snotty kid, 10 years old. He said, sure, pray for me. He prayed for him. The eyes opened up. Mm -hmm. That was Pentecost. Anyway. Amen. United States, 17, 1776. 26 years after the start of Philadelphia, you have what? The United States starting off as a country. And so she says, uh, 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 we're not going to have that here. Forever, centuries, centuries, the, 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 the church anoints the king. Now you are able to reign. And now he now is in, 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 uh, endued with two things, both temporal power and like a spiritual power. That's what the king wow. said. It's the royal we. Mm -hmm. We are here to do this. Now, we're, now, what we want to do this morning, that's the royal we. What I want to do this morning. Well, I said, but me and the Lord, oh, it's the Lord. It's the royal we. We we use that in our culture. But the Catholic Church did not want that. So well, it's gonna flop. So they started calling it the American experiment. But then all of a sudden it went over to over here and over there, and then Giuseppe, wasn't it? Giuseppe Garibaldi kicks the Pope out of out of it out of Italy in the 1860s. Got to study history. You don't have to, but I said if you study history, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to help you, me. But Garibaldi kicks the Pope out, and then the Pope, uh, now we have Pope No No, No No, Ninth, No, the Ninth. He says, I hate Republicans. They mean he loved the, the Democrats. No, Republican is one, Ray, what, 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 what is it? Ray, 
R-E, period. Training. So everybody, when you got the little email or letter, knows this has to do with training. You're not going to start talking about your dog and your cat and your, you know, whatever. Ray of or concerning. Publico. Of, Ray, public, of the people, of the public. Democracy. The democracy or the government of the demos, people. Right? So, democracy, republicanism, same thing. He hated republicanism. He hated democracy, in other words. No, you're going to do what we tell you to do. You're going to have the king that we tell you who was the king. They couldn't have that because another people were going to select their leader. You can't have, a, you can't have that kind of country around. So, what it, how automatically become, what happens? The, the guns are trained on America. So she's behind all this garbage that's going on right now. And taking advantage of, like one guy said, always take advantage. Never let a crisis go to waste. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of a crisis. That's when they sneak in. 9-11. How many, how many um, freedoms did we lose in 9-11? Our children don't know. Our young people don't know. They don't know. We lost a lot of freedoms in 9-11. Come over here. I'm going to patch you down. Get your hands off of me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to patch you down because of safety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all one now. They're not, what, how many hear them talking about the radio and the TV? We're all one. We have, we're all one family now. <laughs> Just recognize who the mama is and uh, daddy. You have to recognize who the mama, mama is and the papa. Mm -hmm. Did I say papa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we're then we really are ones. One. Okay. Yes, sir. So that's it. God versus Satan. Wisdom versus faith. Elijah versus Balaam. The veils, the ba baals, baalis, veils. Okay. We talked about this before. This is review. Take the beginning of begin to begin. The take the first steps or steps in carrying out an action. How many can understand it? Right. Raise your hand or something. Just yeah. right. okay. Do you understand everybody? Everybody, raise your hand. Just that will help us. Why don't you stand, please? So, so a little bit stuffy in here right now. Everybody, stand, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh, opa. Hey. Uh, you can just read along something with me. Um, to have a beginning in a temporal sense, this is time, space, or just thinking about stuff, okay? Value to sense. Set in motion, cause to start. To begin, to speak or say. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. See that? Well, it's all the beginning, the beginning, the beginning. Have a beginning characterizes some specified way. You may be seated. Thank you. This is just review right now. When God spoke this third and you said over tonight, that's God's word. Like, for example, this is God's word right here. Oh, no, that's plastic. No, it's made by man. Just shaped by man. But the man takes the material that God has there. Man. Man can't create anything. They can destroy. Hey, they cannot create. They can shape, reform, uh, who's the creator of Disney, Dis Disneyland? Walt Disney, yeah, creator. He's a, he's a fashion, he's a fashioner. He's the one that refashioned it and moved it around. But he, nothing new is, there's nothing new under the sun. Wow. Just shaped by man. Anyway, let's get uh, blah, blah, blah. When God spoke the dirt that you sit on tonight, that's God's word. God just said, let there be, and his word materialized. Is that true? Oh, how wonderful, how past finding out it's by faith that we believe him. God believed his own word. Amen. Remember, he was just all thought, eternal mind. And not spoken yet. But he knew that when he spoke, it was going to be just like that. We'll see that in a little bit. Okay. Don't have to say nothing. And it formed the world. If we had time to go into those things. That's 19, that's 70 years ago almost he said that. God, like in the beginning, he was just God. Well, he wasn't really God. You know, notice I was just a small G there. He was just the eternal. God is our English word. God means an object of worship. Man. And with nothing to worship him. He was self-existing. Elohim. 
So there was nothing to worship him. So he was just the great eternal. But in him was attributes. Yeah. And attributes is thoughts. Now I'm going to go back before the thought. Man. Now he's eternal mind, so he's always thinking. But before he, the thought, I'll say it like this, so that we can talk about it like as human beings. We can't think of those things like that, but why do you do that? Well, that's just me. Well, that's why we have a new birth. A new nature, new thoughts, new mind. Transform, be reformed, change your mind. You know, the mind of Christ, not your own mind. Okay, the mind of Christ. His mind comes first. His word comes first. But I throw it in the garbage. Like the place to say from Canada, My cut head. off your stinking head. Wow. But I, no, no bats. No bats. God's word says, boom, down, you stick a fork in it. You know, that's, that's, what it's, that's, that's what God wants. Now, you don't have to do it. You're supposed to do it, but you don't have to do it because God's got carrying categories, right? Bride. Almost bride. Wow. Saved. Wow. Almost saved. Damned. And really damned. And he puts a and he puts the thing in front of you. Do not be thirty-two or thirty-three or yeah. thirty-one. He says, "Choose you this day. You choose this day. What do you want, life or death?" But he says, and then he says, "I said, for why would he die? Why do you want to die? Why do you choose to die? In other words, why will you die? No matter. Why do you want to die when you can live? I don't want it like that. I don't like your rules." Okay, it's only only one game, only one game in the universe, only one game in eternity is life or death. Which one? Right. Which one do you want? You choose. Mm -hmm. I don't like you. Well, it's okay, but love God. In other words, just thoughts. Okay, those thoughts. In other words, before the before the thought is something that is in, innate. Yes. Inherent, something just the way it is. By nature, God is good. And in him, Brother Vanessa, was just this whole fountain of love going forth. Beautiful lights. Oh. Everything beautiful is coming out of him. And then it says, as it goes on, it starts getting perverted. Because of him, no. Because people start getting a hold of it, and they start perverting. And then pretty soon, when there's perfect love, it goes down to, to, to start filial love. Then eros. You know what eros is? Eros, erotica, erotic, erotic stuff. Woo! The, the, the love of the flesh. Yes. Not the love of the spirit, which is affection, and not the love of God, which is agape love. It's not flesh. Back then, in the 60s, 63, 4, 5, see the bumper stickers, make love, not war. Well, Leary, Timothy Leary, Leary or Leary said, Tune in, drop out. Reject society. Now the beat generation was not the beat. And the beat goes on. The beat said, so, man, we're tired. We're beat, man. We don't want nothing more. We don't want nothing more of your society. We're dropping out. We're going to go in the woods. We're going to let our hair grow. We're just going to live like Adam and Eve. No, Adam and the serpent. Uh, Eve and the serpent. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me begin again. You're eternal. Attributes. To think of the, anything before you speak it, then, then you speak. So it's an attribute, it's a thought. Like for example, if I say pulpit, I have to think pulpit before I say pulpit. Then it becomes a material. Then it's materialized when somebody says, oh, I'm going to make a pulpit. Where's a pulpit? Well, it's like this, like it's made out of wood. Okay, we're gonna, we know what material we're going to start with. How high do you want it? About this, how wide do you want it? This way. How high? What, what, are, what are the criteria? What do you need? Well, I want a little shelf here and something in here. Bible, oh, we found out that if it's like this, the Bible's always falling off, so we're going to put a little stopper here. Okay? Now, that's number one. That's, but where was, where was the first, where was the first pulpit made? In the mind. Then it became materialized. And then you should make it made any, anywhere. Any, uh, man, speak it. God's word, and then and that He is eternal, and in Him was attributes, and He spoke it, and it was the word, and the word was made flesh, and as the word is made flesh, it's God becoming material. Mm. This is not a this is not a class on no. on the Godhead. 
But let's say that if I was to jump up on top of this chair, and as soon as I got up on top of this chair, I become invisible. You can't see me anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's Elohim. But then, as Elohim comes down, he descends a little bit. I see a little white starting. I still, I see a little white light starting to form. That's the logos. No, that's the Lord Jesus. That's Jesus who used the logos form. Nice. Then he comes down a little bit lower. Now it's now tangible, nice. moral, like Jesus. Now he, that's God. Yes. And three gods? No. You can't see him. Then he makes himself visible. Where you can't see him. But as human beings, you see, he always wanted, he says, God wanted to become a man. Yes. So now he can hear, and then God with us. Now God can be with us. Amen. You know? And so when he says, um, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It was him speaking, him thinking it, speaking it through the Logos that's now inside the flesh of Jesus. So it's Elohim saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's why when he's on the cross, the pillar of fire leaves him, he's not just a man. With a human body, human spirit, and human soul. That what God had reserved for himself or created for himself, and allow that little baby to grow up and realize, hey, I am God. As a human being. How many of you wake up and say, well, hey, yeah, I'm a carpenter. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm this. I'm a mechanic. Yeah, I'm this. I'm that. Or the other. I'm a teacher. I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm a whatever. Oh whatever. I'm a cook. I'm a chef. I'm... We'll get to the next verse. Okay, so we're going to start getting into this. Just, this is very, very, very beautiful. <laughs> Um, I wish somebody else would speak on it, but it's following my lot. Look at this. Read with me nice and loud, so some of us need to wake up. <laughs> let's, let's read this together. Nice and loud, so we, we can wake up everybody here. Me too, okay? And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding food after its time. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and there was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and the earth yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed is in itself after its kind, and so God saw that it was good. Now, let's review what we just read, okay? Is this true? Let the, but God said, Let the earth bring forth grass. Yes. yes. The earth yielding seed. Yes. yes. And the fruit tree yielding fruit. Yes. yes. After his kind, yes or no? Yes. 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 Whose seed is in itself.